Adam, this is what you don't understand. I truly am when it comes when it comes to pooping. I truly am the wizard of speed and time. <laughs> it slides right out, dude. That's called diarrhea, dude. That's just called having diarrhea. No, it's solid. I uh, I'm in and out too. No, you're send not. Send the ball William. and boom. Yeah, I am. It's all fixed. Well, you're. Co- what do you mean fixed? If you take probiotic pills, boom, you're set. He's got little mushrooms coming out. This dude's got a garden growing. Yeah. I'm planting little seeds. fungus. Like Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> <laughs> that is the no, origin put of Johnny sunglasses. Appleseed. But Adam's wearing sunglasses. Put them on again. <laughs> this is like bootleg matrix. These are my wife's. Did you get those from Burger King in uh, 2005 <laughs> when uh, Wild Wild West came out? Oh, yeah. He looked good in that movie. That one, well, the one thing that movie does have for it is it's got a lot of style. It's got swag. You know what it doesn't? Honestly, what it doesn't have is wizard. Yeah, because we did talk about this movie, The Wizard of Speed and Time, 1988, directed by Mike Jitlov, starring starring Mike Jitlov. I am assuming he did everything because that's what the movie's about. And this is the first movie of the month about. Directors who made one crazy, ambitious film and then never worked again. That's this month's theme. And this uh, is this ambitious. Movie. Ambition is the word you're going to choose. This for is this an movie. incredibly ambitious movie. <laughs> this is a lot of work. Considering this is the like, work of a complete psychopath. This is like a movie. That's like he does this form of animation called like pixelation, which is live action stop motion. So you basically have like actors moving one frame at a time to, uh, to be animated and all the props in the scene are moving too. And it's this form of animation. This guy like really excelled at, and he's also really good. He's also really good at like this multi-plane animation technique and doing, it's kind of like a Monty Python kind of look where he would like draw all over. Well, he would draw over like pictures too. Like you see him in the movie doing visual effects. But anyway, the, the movie has constantly has constant visual effects. Like even like for no reason, that just like the scenes have like somebody touches another character, and then there's like lightning, lightning bolts touching them and stuff. It's just like his glasses the work sparkle. Of somebody who's like gone, lost their mind. I thought I thought that because he was so weird about people touching him. I was like, oh, he's autistic. He was. He was weird about people touching him in the movie. Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't went. want people to, because then when he touched him, only once he touched him, and then he like saw, he like spoke. He was like possessed. So, well, first let's just like give a brief synopsis of the movie. So, it's about a guy who's a visual effects artist. He lives in Hollywood. He's trying to work in the industry, but can't because of union fees, which is very funny. Where does he live in Hollywood, though? An apartment. A mansion, his mom's near, basement. He lives, <laughs> he lives his in mom. his mom in her garage, that's his, and that's his real mom. His, I'm assuming oh, that's his Jesus real brother. Christ. Love that. It's super low budget, but <laughs> love when real moms like, get in. It's very. Um, it just it took a, years. I can't. And years I can't get. I can't even get my mom to act like she loves me, let alone to be in a full feature. <laughs> um, is this guy? It's. Was he? Did he do a lot of work in special effects or whatever? He did a lot. He worked on um, Ghost. That's probably the most high-profile thing you've ever seen him work on. Do you remember the ending of Ghost, where the shadow people pull in? Oh yeah, the bad guy and take him to hell. He he animated that. Um, not very well, honestly. I think he's just drawing on top of film, which is very funny. He's just like drawing shapes, but um. When I was a kid, I thought that effect was so awesome in Ghost. I just it is. It, it like it still is. It like blew my mind. Um, he did a bunch of things for the Disney Channel. He did a bunch of random shit, but he he hasn't really worked a so lot. He made he money. Said, he wasn't like a George said, Lucas special effects guy or something like that. No, he never worked like for ILM. He said in an interview mm-hmm. that his mom got sick in like the late '90s, and he's been taking care of her ever since, and he's too busy mm-hmm. to do anything. So. Heard this that movie. before. <laughs> how, how could he like, use his mom who acted in his movie as his like, excuse? He's, he's, this is like the best mom, mom ever. The <laughs> this is a really good mom. 
<laughs> She's the real hero. The brief synopsis is he's a guy in Hollywood. He does visual effects. He wants to make a film. All the union fees are getting in the way. He gets a chance from a producer to work on a TV special that's dedicated to visual effects. <laughs> yeah. And man. the producer makes a bet saying he will never finish on time. And so the producer's trying to like sabotage him the whole time he's working. I thought that was a good element, but that kind of doesn't really like mean anything. Ultimately. No, this whole movie is fucking what stupid. <laughs> it's totally wacky. <laughs> this whole movie is stupid. Well, really like, no, there's zero, there, there's no investment. Why, what is my investment to this one guy trying, like I'm trying to get work, bro. I ain't. <sighs> Don't you relate to him as a creative person, Ryan? No, maybe as an autistic one. Mm. Well, it's funny the guy didn't drink autistic. once. The guy, did, the guy didn't get drunk once in this movie. Right. Yeah. So this is a very straight Lame. edge character in movie. This is like... He's also hot, dude. He takes his glasses off and he gets hot. When he's a wizard, he's hot. When he wears that green outfit. Yeah, he looks like you in 20 years. <laughs> you think? He looks like your dad. Like if you're a kind of kooky dad. He does look like you. You should start wearing, wearing green jackets. I want to be a wizard. It's never Wizard of Comedy. Oh no, there's a dragon. God, that guy's lame. There's a magician. Yeah. No, he's like lame. a ventriloquist. It's like a pen. And he's got a dog. Guy. Yeah. Well, he uses his little dog, so it's gonna be real sad when his dog dies. <laughs> it's so, like Puff the Magic Dragon or whatever. Yeah. 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 He's some fucking European. He's actually a sweetheart, but <laughs> he's some fucking European dude coming over here with putting a goddamn lizard costume on his dog. I hate Europeans. You don't want a prop. What are you talking about? You don't want a living prop. If you, you know, you know, a prop that will get old and die. I literally have a trash bag, plastic trash bag full of empty five hour energy cans in <laughs> the trunk of my car right now. And I've got a suitcase full of them in my, I've got two, I've probably got like a thousand empty five hour energy cans. What have you done with that? I, on stage, I drop them all over the stage. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Whoa, this guy's crazy. He drinks five hour energy drink. <laughs> well, he, Ryan just wants the audience to know that he's the real deal. It's not fucking around. I save them all. They're the perfect yeah. prop. I've got about 20 cell phones. You sound a, a lot prop. like this character, honestly. Yeah, you are like this character, I think, a lot. So this what I do is I, I go on stage and I stand in I stand in one spot and I say, audience, open your eyes. And they open their eyes and I say, okay, close it. And then I, I move a <laughs> centimeter and I say, open it, close it, open it, close it. And I do a live pixel. Cool. All right. So let's talk about the handshaking thing. So in the movie, there's two instances where he's like, I don't shake hands. And they're like, why? He's like, oh, it's just a personal thing. Um, he kind of has this goofy personality, like Weird Al. It's kind of like UHF. Yeah, I was thinking about UHF. It's that like nerd humor where the guy doesn't drink or do drugs. And it's just like, yeah. hey, I'm just a kooky guy. I love cartoons. You know, yeah, he's got a house full of toys and shit. <laughs> yeah, a yeah. house full of toys that he's pretending are gadgets. He called it. They're, they're like, <laughs> they're, those are special effects. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. He calls this a house full of toys, special effects. Yeah, he's kind of like Pee Wee and Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Yeah. 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 But, but Pee Wee is like the uh, top of the, the, the apex of the, that, this guy course of course tim burton now oh, that's a film but <laughs> yeah well, let's get let's talk about the handshaking thing so in this interview this guy asked him like why don't you shake hands he's like well the truth is i'm actually a very empathetic person and when i touch someone's hands i feel their emotions and i can like he can like he believes he can like feel their diseases like he'll become sick with their illnesses if he touches like their hands it's like bruce willis and yes and That's so in the movie it's cool but... so in the movie there's one scene where he touches a secretary's hands and he re realizes that like the night before she like had sex in the office with a muscle guy and they're like running around <laughs> like she's like crawling on him like a dog or like he's crawling on the yeah, floor like a dog and she's, and she's riding yeah. him or something yeah yeah so he kind of thought there was a muscle guy though <laughs> you didn't clock Good for her but um oh, then he's boats. able to get the upper hand on her and she has to do him a favor yeah she's like i know you i know you walked around you had a muscle guy walk around like a damn dog down here come on get me into that office i also really liked 
that part where he goes home and his mom is sleeping on the couch and she's dreaming and he and we we see her you can dream. see it yeah and it's like basically like a bunch of still photographs of a life like uh yeah. like it's growing sad. up and all that it's kind of amazing kind of an amazing thing i've never seen before in a movie it, for real <laughs> there's like moments in this movie where i'm like when i started it i text y'all and i was like this movie like i immediately took a shot like i immediately had a drink because i was like what the fuck did william get me into yeah it was and then the it, and then like 30 minutes later it, yeah it's not addiction <laughs> and then 30 minutes later uh into the movie i'll be like holy shit this is the best movie for like 30 seconds i'll be like this is the best thing i've ever yeah. seen in a movie and then that's gone for like an hour and then another split well it has like a, a lot of amazing things in it honestly because it's like a throw a bunch of shit at the wall stuff and just like there's just so much shit happening in this movie every scene every scene there's a new graphic crazy crazy new graphic you know um, effect. you love if you like graphics check it out but the movie is like so corny and dorky and like lame that it's very um what's the word when you're like aware when it breaks the fourth wall the meta. movie itself meta, meta. It's yeah meta. i think is There's it tons of meta, meta yeah and it's also a kind of brilliant concept for a uh, meta concept of it being this like special effects movie about a special effects movie well no when, once that starts stupid, like but... once like the executive gets like set on fire and and you know what i mean like kind of when they collide it, it almost is brilliant. It's almost brilliant. It might be brilliant. It might be. I had a good time watching it. Well, it's a short film extended to full length. And yeah. it doesn't really have the depth to pull off a full length movie. It it's like it, a very, it, but it's still relatively short. I was, swimming like in the, you know, I was swimming in the shallows the whole time, baby. And I was lax. I was comfortable. Nice. But um, another similar movie to this is Speed Racer, which I actually watched last night, which is a very like hyperkinetic movie. And with that guy that choked out a woman, right? Emil Hirsch, who was, who was there in the audience, he got a that. big, got a giant applause book break <laughs> when he choked out a woman in the audience of the movie <laughs> of <laughs> Speed <choked> Racer. <laughs> He's choking out his producer of Speed Racer in front in of the, the whole front theater. Of the everybody, yeah. he didn't choke clapping. her out until she transitioned. And They're the Wachowski <laughs> brothers <laughs> on that movie. At mm -hmm. the end credits, but um, even Speed Racer is a more dramatic film than Wizard of Speed and Time. There's like, oh well, yeah, because they're racing. The the evil businessman in Speed Racer is like way more corrupt. There's yeah, the, this guy is just like annoying. Yeah, exact. The Harvey Weinstein guy in this movie is just like his name's literally Harvey. He's just a completely like shit. He's just really shitty at his job, and just everybody hates him and thinks he sucks. And no, he's like a classic Hollywood. There, there's this movie is so bitter. The main yeah, guy for sure. is clearly like like clearly <laughs> bitter. Like he's that's what just, you wanted the, like a kid's movie. <laughs> it's just bitterness. Bitterness. It's also very inside about Hollywood. Exactly. Too early in the like it's in the early. It's like well, I guess they started there early 80s but by 88 i don't know it's very inside it's very um the details about like animation guilds and that was cool I thought directing that, I guild. That, stuff. that stuff is cool for people like us but like not only the mainstream that, audience it's like kind of confusing i bet but, or, like, but also like that like it's they, it, you see a lot of like the process his process like special effects process old film making processes and, and stuff but it's done in kind of this way where it's like hey this crazy thing's happening let's do this and then they're talking about it and you see them like you like see it see it and I, that, that was really this, this dude could have just got any other job though yes that's one thing that's very confusing about him because he's so clearly talented but he acts like i could never make it with all these union things and it's like well you know james cameron did like let's get a you jump from James Cameron jumped from like visual effects artist, PA guy to James to, Cameron <laughs> to like directing in like four years, just because he was willing to like go with the others. And stuff. yeah, no, it's hard to break into unions. I got it. Plus, he also, just didn't want to fuck Harvey. Yeah. Our wizard didn't want to fuck Harvey. I mean, should've he should have. I know. It would be great if he had a sex scene in this movie. That was my favorite like, scene when yeah. Harvey was jerking off in the bushes while he was taking a shower. 
in his wizard. <laughs> he's like, I don't shake hands. He's like, I don't need you to shake <laughs> I don't, my hands. <laughs> he touches like the shower. Yeah. He touches Harvey Weinstein's hands. He just sees all this like horrible sexual assaults. It's just him meeting. Yeah. No, it's just him meeting Epstein. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's all he sees just yesterday. He was shaking hands with Epstein. And his that's eyebrows, get, he gets like a really high eyebrow. He's like, wait <laughs> yeah, a minute, you're a little... dirty. He's like, you're a dirty fellow. I don't like, like this effect. Also, he does have superpowers. Actually, no, he doesn't have superpowers. Well, he has he empathetic. He has superpowers and it's not like used again. He doesn't though. Because he got because he he walks in and he goes, God, I wish that was real. There's one scene where he like does a magic thing and then like moves his alarm clock or something. It's like impressionistic. He, uh, he goes, I wish that was actually real. Yeah, he's he's literally just playing Ex- expressionist. Yeah. I can't remember. No, he's uh, he's retarded. Oh, right. That's what Speaking I'm of <laughs> James Cameron, one thing that's interesting is the DP of this movie is Russell Carpenter, who later shot Titanic. Wow. So like it's pretty well shot. So like one person from this movie like did really well in their career and like you know made it in the business. Did he? Everybody else Titanic. is, like, is Titanic that great? Made sure. a lot of money. <clears throat> so yeah. So is currently uh Putin. It's making a lot of money that Putin. <laughs> I mean he's doing lot. it. You just he's don't respect money. the uh victims of the titanic tragedy no check this out the only real hero of the titanic was the chef or the baker who survived by getting he was the first one that got on the rail the back of the rail remember when it started tilting up Mm -hmm. you're talking about the movie or real life real life both this character's based he got wasted he just kept drinking out of a flask in the movie apparently he was actually blackout drunk on the titanic and that's what he that's what kept him alive for three hours in the frozen water. His blood couldn't freeze because he was blackout drunk. That's awesome. so alcoholism saved his life. Yeah. He also was a hero of the Titanic. He, he should be a hero of alcoholics. He is. I think he just died like a few months ago. That's so we poured one really? out. Well, we didn't. No, wow. I don't know about if he's I'm surprised the movie wasn't about him, considering he's such a hero. It should be. He has such a thing about it, but he's just not hot. Mm. Yeah, they're like, we can't make a movie about this guy. Not yeah. Also, why is the movie not about any other thousands of people that were on the Titanic? Why is it about two hot people? Yeah. Movie should be about thousands of people. No, yeah. just the ugly people out of thousands. <laughs> why do we always thousands pick the hot of ugly ones? people? <laughs> That's what movie should be about. Not a couple on of a boat people. crashing. That would be amazing. If you that knew that a bunch awesome. of ugly people were about to drown. They only have time for like to get to get each and the only one drinking. that survives is the hot guy who's drinking <laughs> oh nice. the hot drunk it. yeah <laughs> like it. reverse titanic that's a good <sighs> pitch for a movie right well the reverse titanic would be a boat coming out of water and starting to float right anyways i bet too. the wizard of speed in time well you know he has all these powers he doesn't really save anyone's life or do anything good he just makes his own no movie. instead like he actually electrocutes movies. a shit ton of people Wait. via his bike oh yeah that's so <laughs> like, that scene was- <laughs> honestly that scene was like disturbing kind of. very peewee's big adventure <laughs> they were exactly. all like exactly it's a straight ripoff right it's like a chain of people because like somebody will it, touch his bike 15, like a bike thief them. a bike Cam- people try to steal his bike Pee-wee, though oh it did yeah, this it stole this from Pee Wee, hundred percent. I was, I was gonna ask, like, were these yeah, special a- effects brand new at the before the movie came out? Like, <laughs> did no. it like blow people's minds? No, people did were they, doing like Star Wars had come out at this time. People right? in the audience see this, and it's like when the, that old silent film about the train coming at the camera, and everybody dove out of the way. Is no, none of this is new. There's a a Richard Lester movie about neighbors fighting. I believe that's Pixelation. Richard Lester is a big um he directed Hard Day's Night. He's not also very Dick Lester. That dude's a pedophile. Dick He's Lester. Not... <laughs> There's no way that's not a pedophile. Dick Lester. Ooh, I mean, yeah. Dick Lester. I mean, he's done well the for himself. Dick Lester, for a guy the named Dick Lester. All these visual effects have existed since I got Dick the Lester. silent era. Also, the idea <laughs> of like seeing a person's dream is a, is a pedophile. Dick seeing Lester a is a guy dream? who only t- molests your dick he doesn't touch any other part of your body <laughs> he just diddles your dick and then yeah. dips 
he's like a fine surgeon you know what i mean he can really just zero adam, in on what he adam wants. how would you molest a dick if you were dick lester well i i Give wouldn't be as play. good as dick lester who can touch only the dick and get away so you touch clean. the balls too probably i'd probably brush up against the balls even if i didn't want to if i was molesting <laughs> adam's like go trying to it's like a shot of Adam trying to suck a dick and it's like his face moving closer and closer and closer and he just like misses. He just goes and all balls. And the balls go to his mouth. He starts oh, choking. Oh, oh. <laughs> and he pulls back. He like He like pulls backwards like two feet in the oh, ball stretch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then confident Dick Lester walks in. My God. <laughs> he just, just gets, one pump jerks the Oh yeah, Dick Lester sneaks in and molests the guy's dick while my <laughs> while his balls are stuck in my mouth. Oh, you're laffy taffy in this dude's balls. Yeah, another and molester. It's like a, it's like a like 90 year old man in. in a hospital. That's why his <laughs> balls are so long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not fighting back. Oh, God. He's just asleep. He's been asleep the whole time. Oh man, uh, good stuff. But yeah, no. As I was saying, every every visual effects artist is a pedophile. What were you saying, William? I was just saying these visual Safe effects. Say. You could see all this like in a silent movie or like. Oh yeah, I it's mean, like a Melier. Yeah. Melier movies probably were like that. People would be like, "What the fuck? This is like, is this real?" Kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, does oh, this like guy have magic out. powers? Is yeah. he a wizard of speed and time? You know. They just did all this work without signing a single contract, and then. <laughs> yeah. And these two and fucking stupid executives. The, like the, other the guys bet was the bet was twenty five thousand dollars, right? The between the producer and the whatever. And the movie budget he's making is ten thousand. Yeah, that and, that and been that was really doubled. Story. He wow. got doubled, so he was originally only going to make five thousand dollars for all of this hard work, and then that got doubled to ten thousand. Wow, they're betting twenty, but they're betting twenty five grand on yeah, this because they don't respect artists and filmmakers. Well, uh, yeah. Why? Why would you? Is it? Is and, this guy supposed to be Harvey Weinstein? Is that why his name is Harvey? No, it's probably just coincidence. Oh, um, I can't tell you why. It. I can't tell you why his character's name is Harvey Weinstein, but the Harvey part's got to be. <laughs> yeah. This guy like was. He saw it. He saw the future. He was probably molested by Harvey, and then he made this movie. That's the only oh, explanation. Yeah. That's the, the only victim. explanation. This dude. This dude got lestered. Dude, this uh, movie is from the good era of kids' movies that are also like full of se- like casual sexual harassment and stuff. Was this a, a PG? Yeah. Of course. No adults are going to go see this movie. Like, <laughs> come on. The wizard. I was curious about, I was curious about the wizard. Like, I'd, I'd watch a show when he's just the wizard. And if the entire kids' show was filmed in that stop motion that pixel i'd watch that nobody would produce that also you could probably just film oh, that and then cut out it. frames you don't have to film it like that anymore right well the other thing there's is techniques. like there's techniques um, now there's techniques he's a guy who doesn't seem to like want to um compromise on quality of anything and like when you make television <laughs> of life even <laughs> animation television is all about like maximizing time being a wizard effort. of speed and time you have to think like how to make animation as cheap as possible to look good. Um, even something like Ren and Stimpy, which was like a big deal when it came out. Um, they were still using all sorts of tricks to like stretch, like to make it faster, and make it simpler. And... Yeah. Like repeating cells and stuff. Well, they would never do that. <laughs> That's one thing they refused to do. So they would gotcha. use, they would never repeat a cell. Disney ever. doesn't give a fuck about that. They've Beavis every and Butthead, Disney animated movie is the same animation. It's awesome how they they'll use, they'll all <laughs> use all that. It's like the exact same movie, but it's completely different movies. It's beautiful. It is cool. Like in this, well, instead of this one, there's a bear dancing instead of a chimp. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Are you talking about Jungle Book? I'm talking about all of them. Jungle Book versus Robin Hood. Yeah, when the monkey's like, oh, I just can't wait to be bear. Yeah. He's a bear. What? what about bro- <laughs> Have you ever seen Brother Bear? That's the best Disney movie. It's under. Whoa. It's like slept on. <laughs> Brother Bear? For real? 
Yeah, Adam. Brother Bear is the best one. <laughs> For real? <laughs> you should watch it tonight. Honey, honey, guess what? But, guess um, what? Oh, Wait, I'm, guess what? What? Guess, guess what? what? Brother Bear is a movie <laughs> that we're going to watch. <laughs> what, you, what was Well, that? like, imagine being a person who, like, loves, you know, an adult who loves Disney and then uh, finding out there's a better Disney movie than the one, any of the ones that you've seen. You'd shit your pants. Yeah, we just saw you do this. You just were like, what? Brother Bear is good. I got to go watch it. <laughs> I know. I did the smallest version of the, my the favorite, peak of that emotion is shit in your pants. But it's my I favorite ride at Disney World. The Brother Bear ride. Yeah, that's cool. That's the one. That one. I, I like that one, but it's like a three hour long wait. Yeah. So that's like. Tough. I like it because it's only boys. Boys only. Brothers only. <laughs> Yeah, it's and just bears. A, like it's just a guy. Gay, it's just a bear <laughs> that you <laughs> ride on. It's just like a a a, a bunch of bear guys. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then they have like you like little kids hop on their back and then ride them around. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Little boys, yeah. Brothers, little brothers. Cubs, but they go into the ride, <laughs> and then when the kids come out, they're like grown up, and they're just they're like, so hairy. They have like beer. They have like. They have like beards now, but they're still little kids. They're just bawling, but they look like grown ass men. <laughs> they're <laughs> still tiny. Adam. They're still like three feet tall, but they're just bawling with like, yeah, they look, <laughs> they look like it's Adam. Like... <laughs> if Adam was just three feet. <laughs> okay, I wish I was listening they to what you guys just were got, saying. They clearly <laughs> just got dick lested in this ride coming out. <laughs> dick lested. <laughs> Oh, Adam man. Dick lasted on a big brother ride, <laughs> but three feet, three feet. <laughs> That's where it all went wrong for me. Wearing his Bernie like one Sanders little, swastika shirt. There's one little Adam with like his ball stuck on the bear. <laughs> one ball swinging, in his mouth. He's just still swinging going. between his legs, getting dragged on the ground. Oh, yeah, totally. Parents grab him by his feet, try to pull him off. And he's like, no, no. I want to go again. <laughs> I want to get dick lasted. <laughs> I want to get dick lasted. Oh, Who the man. fuck made Why am I a part of dick this? Dick Lester, Richard Lester. <laughs> why is it funny to That's why I'm like confused and don't know what to say. They look like <laughs> you. They're ch- ch- they look like children. Like what do you first mean? Of all, I'm not, I don't Adam, look like a grown first of all, child. First of all, it's funny. First of all, it's I funny. I just don't just, understand. It's funny just Peter to picture you three you feet be, tall. This is a... We're, I'm just up. confused by why I'm a part of it. <laughs> That's why it's funny because you were the one that would get confused. If we picked William, he'd I'm play confused. along and it would actually That's probably true. be a good bit. Well, you're right. <laughs> you, you get excited about Disney movies and then confused <laughs> about jokes. If they listen, if you listen, Whoa. it makes sense. Wait, are you serious, big brother? I would get why you said that about me if I was listening. It made sense to Ryan. <laughs> Hold on. Adam's like, I don't listen. I don't pay attention. <laughs> and I'm, I, I'm angry on. because I'm confused. <laughs> Why is he putting his sweater on? Oh. Okay. <laughs> he fixes his hair like. It's not even on him. It just looks like <laughs> shit. It's not fun to listen to. Fun. Oh, I'm giggly. It's y'all. on now. I know. We're being, we're being silly, guys. It's this, this movie. movie. This, this movie, movie is so silly. <laughs> this movie it's was like. Silly. 90 minutes and it f- honestly felt like four hours and it also felt like 30 minutes and it also felt like that's the days. wizard of speed and time thing that's what that's what he's saying it's disorienting yeah also the this movie's hole. available it's available on youtube there's no official <laughs> dvd the you don't director, need youtube red or nothing you just a youtube yeah. the director's like eh, just link. pirate it how many views does it Thanks, i gotta Adam. look that up how many views on oh, youtube would you? Look at him uh, put his chin over his face Don't. again. <sighs> Stopped immediately before you said anything. Oh, would you? You're like you're like my like bully. Third grade I'm your bully. No, you're like I'm an old lady. You. T- I don't English like teacher. you. Yes, you do. He thinks he's Matilda, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yes, the exactly. evil headmistress. <laughs> yes. I was telling five, you five years so. ago, The Wizard of Space and Time was uploaded onto YouTube five years ago. The full movie, an hour and 37 
minutes. That's cool. This is like 60, on the Wikipedia. 62,000 views in wow. five years. <laughs> Damn. This, more people need to see this movie. It's good. Mm. It's fun to watch. Mm. It's also, it kind of feels like a, it kind of feels like a uh, video you'd see, like a pre-ride video at Universal Studios back in the day. A 97 about? minute long movie? No. Um, it's more like a movie they would play at a bar while music why is playing like over that? it. I don't want you being like that. Okay, fine. It's uh, Oh, I'm on the ride and look First at this cool movie. You me about Brother Bear. And now, <laughs> and yeah, this is the movie they play before Brother Bear. Let's come on. And Adam is just like, oh boy, is this what the ride's like? They're like, no. You know, like uh, <laughs> Wizard Subclass if you watch it, you know what I'm saying. has Blames. more views. <laughs> what? Who you're... He's bad because his idea doesn't make any sense. This Ryan, is not well, like this is like our dynamic that's fucking annoying because okay. it's like Here's you what... are contra- contrary, and then Ryan's doing something else and not paying attention, so he can't like back me up about this thing. Yeah, what I were you say saying? I was okay. Like, I truly wasn't. Paying it feels attention. like a th- video you would watch. <laughs> it's a Ryan movie, Adam. That's studio. What... <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's just okay, why movies like, you when, watch. What year? <laughs> vibe, the vibe of the movie. No, it's not. Because movies you watch before a ride is a character talking into the camera. They're like, also, we need your it, help yes. to like yeah, save Vin, the galaxy. I'm Vin Diesel. Hi, it's me, Vin Diesel. Welcome to the yeah. Fast Nine ride. Yeah, it is. Okay, like so that. I went to. Hi, I went I'm to the Adam's past... dad. I'm the creator of the Brother Bear ride, starring my son Adam. <laughs> Speaking of Adam, why dad, am I? Which, a, is, my, I which is my father. My brother's name is Adam. My dad and I went to the cool. Fast and Furious Universal Studio ride, and they have the big screen that Adam's talking about. The video where all the cast come out, and it and it's like hologram, right? It's not, but it's made. It's like three D. How do you say that? Three D film. And he, Vin Diesel right. comes out, and he's like, "Hey, bro, we got a fucking fa- family." And then. Uh, we do the ride. And then afterwards, my dad goes, man, that's crazy. Those like actors they had looked a lot like the original cast. He <laughs> thought it was a live performance. <laughs> Vin Diesel. Yeah. And, he, and then he also thought the, the actor that in this live performance, who was Vin Diesel in a screen, looked a lot <laughs> like Vin Diesel. I think your dad has that disease where he can't recognize like faces. Like husbands off, will like on and off screen, dude. No, honestly, this is one of those things I was talking about earlier. That's like seeing the train coming at you and d- diving out of the way. Like your dad was tricked by the hologram. Imagine that train's coming at you, but it's got Thomas's face, his Thomas old the brain train's face at you. That'd be terrifying. Holy shit! Yeah, just a giant baby face on the front of a train coming at you. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much the <laughs> last year of my life. <laughs> Look at how easy it is to blow Adam's life. It's like Adam's nightmare. <laughs> Adam kind of has the Thomas the Train face. Just kidding. I like being a dad. Adam looks like the skinny guy from Laurel and Hardy. I guess Laurel. Yeah, it's Laurel. He's tall. It's Laurel and Hardy. Crying. I guess I'm the fat one who beats him up. Yeah, you are. You do kind of look like Hardy. You get a little fatter. Ryan, as a comedian, you should study the classics. Laurel and Hardy, Charlie mm-hmm. Chaplin, Buster Keaton. I'm kind Dick of Calvin Lester. and Hobbes kind of guy. Dick Lester, I've kind of read everything that guy's done. Calvin and Hobbes, Hobbes is a drama. I just see him. I the only ones I've read are on the back of trucks and stuff. Like, like describe what you what you say. <laughs> what which Calvin and Hobbes you've read? Well, I saw I saw, I saw one the of those. one where Hold Calvin on, I saw one of those on in terrace. Florida. I saw one in Florida. It was driven by a guy named Mr. Bowers and had a picture of Adam getting pissed <laughs> he had off. truck nuts, but the truck nuts were going all the way up to the front of the seat and he was sucking on them. Yeah. Wait, who's the dad? I'm Mr. Bowers? I'm driving it, the car. When Adam a was a kid, when Adam was saying? a kid, his dad had a pacifier with the little balls on it. They put it in his <laughs> mouth. Two little nuts. <laughs> this little truck nut out pacifier. Of like... Or whatever the pop. Yeah. That'd be, that would be illegal, I think. That would not yeah, be good. Kinda... There's little pubes on it. Uh, one thing I thought was funny about this movie is that it's like the opposite of what the hell is that one Boots Riley movie? Sorry to bother you. Yeah, where that movie is about like it's like 
this has a very anti-union message. It's just like, look, if, you, if this guy's so <laughs> oh, yeah, good, this guy's so good, he's so talented. He like, yeah, the unions are holding him back. He can do everything. You know, wow. he doesn't need. And the the union fees are holding this guy back. Amen, brother. Preaching to the choir, though. None of that makes sense. Yeah, this is also, you. Do they? You're this guy, right? No, I've got. Yeah, I've just. I don't know. I'm the opposite. You should live of this in a guy. Pee-wee, I've pee-wee done. I don't do. House, I don't do any work. That guy's doing way too much work. That dude's working in storms. If it drizzles outside, I take the day. I take a mental day. This dude was like filming, right. doing his dumbass. I mean, this is what who you could have been. <laughs> mental. This I is, take a. This is you at your peak potential. Day. You become a, a true wizard. I'm the. I'm like the opposite of this character because I do zero work. I've honestly got nothing no, really to give, Ryan. If this was and, you, you would and I'm, be like, and I'm getting gig, like I'm getting, you'd be getting I'm out of bed, and work. you'd have like all these beer bottles. He's like drinking the beer bottles while music's playing. It'd be, and then it'd like, be five hour energy <laughs> bottles, but yeah, it's like the music's playing. It's like do 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 that's like 10 minutes of stand up three times bombs week. bombs shaves <laughs> yeah, and i shaved my bombs. face instead of working on instead of working on my on my jokes i just shave and then try the same material and it works a little bit better so hell yeah so and then then there's I just like my whole body there's just a fast forward scene of ryan laying in bed for two days playing like switch oh, i didn't what? even play switch when i was in bed just staring at the ceiling. Too much effort. I did up. that for hours, honestly. Your beard is growing in like fast <laughs> it's, motion. It's in it's like, like a time lapse. <laughs> it's aging in bed. And I go every every inch my beard gets longer. The jokes get less funny. It starts getting like really dark. Here's the deal, scary. guys. To the listeners, I moved back to Austin and I started doing stand up. I haven't written a new joke in 13 years, and I've started doing stand up again after the pandemic. And I've just been bombing because I had a beard and then I shaved my beard and I did the same jokes and it started killing. It's because you look your all your jokes are about how you're like uh fucking uh like an well, like an old do one of my eighteen jokes, years old. Do you're one like, of my jokes. Well, you do a lot of jokes about how you like just graduated high school. You're an old man. <laughs> I don't say that. Or you're a man. I'll be like, like a I just got out of retirement. Well, I don't want to. I don't need to break this down. I guess right now, but no, um, do my set. Well, do like one of my type five. I'll no, do one I of your could jokes. never. I could never do them justice, man. You're the king, right? Shut up, Adam. You don't... <laughs> Shut up. Why? Why? I hate Adam king. on the show. It's like <laughs> you're the king. Slay, he refuses slay to do king. bits. He slay. starts. He starts to do a bit and then just goes, "No, it, I'm not going to do it. It's too mean. I'm not going to do it." Just I think it's the Zoom. I think it's the Zoom because Adam feels like when we get in a Zoom and record through Zoom, he feels like we're hanging out and we're like, this is just a Zoom friendship. Yeah, if we were is. in a studio, That's if we cool. had Meanwhile, like... I have an idea of like, oh, the jokes are, <laughs> it's 13 years ago. Ryan just got out of high school. Very well, I had an actual point it. also. So yeah, That's... you literally said slay king. <laughs> I said, you're the king. <laughs> You basically said slay king. I slay king. <laughs> you oh, basically buddy. snapped your fingers. Adam's so been editing this bit? drag race show. So he So what's yeah. the bit? I'm not listening. <laughs> How do we end this uh, on a high note? Oh, I was gonna say uh, uh, um you looked like the age of a person that you were that you were doing jokes about. So it didn't the audience was like, What the fuck is this guy talking about? He's just what is saying this his real grandma life. sweater Adam's wearing with giant <laughs> sleeves just hanging like a wizard. This is a good sweater. He's, he's wearing, wearing like I'm a wizard. wizard. I'm a wizard of speed. And fun. He's the he's wizard of very sleeve. loose fitting. <laughs> he's, <little, laughs> he's wearing like a giant sweater. He so just what put is his this? arms out. Is that a comforter? <laughs> are you wearing a, we got to make this podcast visual. What are you wearing? It was my dad. Is that like, your? Oh my god! How fat was your dad? I've had it for a long time. I don't know How why it's so loose. Dad? Honestly, it's like a cable knit sweater, though. It's. I enjoy. <laughs> I like it. It's very. I do agree. The sleeves are kind of billowy. Yeah. I like his wife's in the background, and I like how she can only hear Adam's side of the conversation. She just closed the door. She just doesn't care. Good for her. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, the wizard of speed and time are you gonna do something with that <laughs> uh, why do you always nah. do you, Adam, you love, I, think and then speak don't, you don't just because there's silence doesn't mean you have to 
fill okay. it with um i can do it fine sure sure yeah i get what you're saying we don't want to make fun um, of you you think we like being a bully i know it's i'm not I'm, making it's fun happening of you. because i'm bad bad no bad, bad person come on slay i'm nodding i'm nodding in agreement william's nodding I didn't even say <laughs> he said slay king yes, how does right, it I so did. this dude can we talk about how hot this dude's girlfriend is in the movie yeah there's oh, a lot of hot the, chicks in this movie there's so many and the, the whole, I like the joke too. I like the joke where they ju- the constant joke is uh, he's a visual effects no he hasn't got laid he's a visual effects guy no he doesn't have money he's a visual effects guy they just were yeah. roast in visual effects. Yeah. If his and he was and he was guys. proving them right the whole time. He's an idiot because if he couldn't make a profit, it's probably because he was spending way too much time doing this highly intricate idiotic animation. Yeah. Yeah. There's Everything plenty of ways though. to make money in world. Hollywood in the yeah. 80s. It's a heyday of visual effects. There's like so many movies and sci-fi movies, horror movies like coming out all the time like just work at like just work on anything like go get a job at fraggle rock or some shit like well yeah his producer was even lucas his name was lucas and he always goes lucas no relation so in this world star wars exists and george lucas is at his peak or at the beginning of his peak but he wants to be george lucas he wants to be the filmmaker yeah but it's not like george lucas really did the visual effects for star wars he he hired people what are you talking about? He bought the slinky to make those laser sounds. Pew, um, pew, 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 pew. It's, a, it's just a slinky. It literally is a slinky. It's a metal slinky. That they like. And he put the micro. No, he put the microphone in the middle and he just dropped a slinky. Just drop a metal slinky. It's pew, 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 you pew. Think, okay, he bought it. I he could probably stole actually, it from Ryan. some kid. I'm not. I'm telling you, that's I, no, what it I, is. I believe it, Ryan. No, fuck you. That's what it. <laughs> what I'm saying is Star Wars was made by. Uh, lots of talented oh, people. Oh, true wizard. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you have to delegate work. Well, Adam, as a filmmaker, you're the only filmmaker on this podcast. Yeah. Was this this kind of, is this kind of the red tape that you would run into in Hollywood? It's all about, it's all about those fucking unions, man. Or did your parents just pay for your movies? <laughs> <laughs> my parents didn't pay for my movies. How much oh. was that first check they wrote you for your first movie? For your movies. My parents gave me some money when they got it when it got into. Did you ever think about it like this, Adam? And I'm just thinking about it now. And I'm just thinking. I had to finish the movie, now. actually. And it, so the finishing cost. Who bought that Adam? sweater? <laughs> my dad. <laughs> oh, my OK. Wow. My parents gave me a sweater. A giant but it, sweater. Actually, it cost oh, more. Look at me. I'm in a giant sweater. I'm not rich. My also, how big is your dad? Rich. How big is your dad? You're a tall yeah, guy. Man. It's it costs more to finish my movie than it did to make it or to get it ready to, to so it could play on dance than to make it. Brilliant logic there. I don't know what it I was doing. It costs more money to finish than it costs to make. It's 23. It's Were you in the movie. union? No, you, felt, you made these in Florida, huh? Yeah. yeah. Florida's got no union. from Florida. You know, just you go, uh, you go just and ask like and a pi- you go and ask something. a python huge mistake uh, who's the leader of the union an alligator you got so many weird ass reptiles a bottle of gatorade Florida, bro a yeah. bottle of gatorade <laughs> what florida humor uh, oh, <laughs> I okay. Was like, oh, okay you didn't get it hulk no, hogan oh no, uh, yeah, yeah yeah hulk hogan have you ever seen um my brother uh peed next to hulk hogan in a urinal why do you? Why oh, is man, your it's... life so centric around piss? <laughs> Did he take this is about Hulk Hogan. Not... Your life is so p- piss centric. <laughs> the focus of your your focus should be about Hulk Hogan on the story, not that it happens to be another story about pissing. I was squirting some liquid out of my dingus uh, next to Colgan back in. Uh... You do it a lot compared to most stuff in your life, honestly. Let's well, let's not end the podcast with such a crass. Hey, hey, right, hey. Adam. It costs more to end it, bro. It costs more to end it. <laughs> what What do you mean by that? The cost yeah. is way higher at the end of every episode than it is at the beginning. Okay. You know what we mean by that, Adam? 
I don't know. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> you, you don't know what we mean. I think, we're going to I mean, grab that, saying, need you but... to grab that mason jar behind you. Let's get your dad in here to help us. Put a little liquid out of your dingus. That's what I'm saying. We need your dad's help to finish the podcast. Can yeah, you do an impression right. of your dad to close us out? Come on, guys. Why do you got to do it? Like, why do you, you got to end it like this? Here's, is this the impression? <laughs> is, that is, that, how, is that the last words your dad is, said when those loan sharks right before they killed him? I can't really do a bit where you guys Come are like on, guys. grinning like shitheads. <laughs> <laughs> like happy. It's like makes it a little hard to feel Man, like I jumping into uh, an idea I can't of have fun. Your uh, I can't do I'm a like bit when you guys drunk. are having fun and laughing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got these fucking shit eating grins. <laughs> Uh, dad, his dad's up. like, no, you got it. Not the balls, but your mouth on the dick. Yeah. You're gonna dick less me. Um, it's a great callback of a of a joke I was doing earlier. Oh, that's your joke. That was my fucking bed. <laughs> and then you, you, you're, you, you just called, said, it's like a repeat a lie. Long you said enough, Richard Lester, kind of and then I said Dick Lester. Said. I made that joke. <laughs> No, and then I said, said what name. a Dick Lester was. I said a Dick. Oh, okay. See, you guys had to do this, and now this is how we're ending. Hold on, hold on. Run the tape. So it's not, people don't it's like, like a three this. man. It's, a, it's the, a, the whole show together is a is a joke together. No, so one we did parts a joke. It's Adams, parts of it's mine. Yeah, it's kind of a collective. Call back to my joke. Well, I'm the one who made the joke about your dad Dick <laughs> Lesting you, or you Dick Lesting your dad and putting the balls yeah. in your mouth. You know, I mean, let's come on. Let's be that fair. Was, we were talking about my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Is doing an impression. Hey, of that's father. a good question. Back where was, the, like earlier, where was the, the father? Where was the father of the wizard of Speed and Time? Damn. Great question. That's so important. That's and what he also, was really running. I got to a question. Find. If you're a wizard of speed and or time individually, one or the other, aren't you? Isn't that the same? If you're a wizard of speed, you literally can control time. You can time travel by running fast enough backwards in time. And if you're a wizard of time travel, you're technically, you could be really fast. You just stop time and then walk forward and then start time. And then everybody stays. This movie doesn't make no sense. So what's the moral of the story? What did we learn? What's the message? <sighs> Unions are bad. Just No, let... just get a fucking job. D unions in Hollywood are bad, but just get like a job. Join like a union and go work in a factory and go work in a steel mill. Right. Don't dream. Just work. Clock in, well, clock out. Quit, if you're so worried about money, quit buying all these toys, calling them effects. <laughs> it's true. I need and living in, your, living in your mom's closet. Where's his dad? It, the moral is you need a solid father figure in your life. Otherwise, you're going to try out. and make it in Hollywood. Yeah. 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 You turn out Pro like dad, anti-union. You're going to get just raw dog. You're going to get you're going to get Dick Lester easy. Mm -hmm. um, don't make Adam. Don't make Adam. Hey, don't show. do my joke. Dude. <laughs> That's Adam. <my> <laughs> That's not cool, man. <laughs> I thought your thing was putting on overly. Look, I'm okay when you guys do, do my jokes. That's totally fine. You can do all my great jokes, but just don't turn mm -hmm. them back at me and then be like, ha ha ha. <laughs> I got you. That's all. So what's the, what's your moral? Oh shit. What's the moral of the story? Your message. Damn. He has nothing. Okay. So what's, everybody's <laughs> what's everybody's rating? It's so easy. You just ask Adam a question and he's stumped. Just any question. You don't, don't want to make. You don't have. You're not asked questions. I don't care about day, Adam so. anymore. Who cares? So what's everybody's <laughs> yeah. rating? Perfect. Um, or three. And you know, stars. I started at. I started at two and a half with this movie, and then as I was watching, I was just like, because it was so corny and shit. I was just like, damn. Um, but the, and then it was just so much fun. I just kept going up and up. I'm gonna land at a nice three and a half stars for this movie. <laughs> That's exactly what we I just said. loved this. Oh, you did. <laughs> I really had a really good time watching this movie. Watching this guy run around fast. Yeah, imagine filming. Like, have toys. Like, harass, sexually harass women. It was really well done, too. Honestly, the time lapse, like on the speed lapse, was like really, it was well done. 
There was times where he was like running next to things. There's also this really cool. Oh, shot the, the scene the in the pool. The scene where in the he pool. drowns at a pool. Oh, Holy that scene was. I, oh, yeah. That we got to talk so about that. Scene. Awesome. Well, how do they he do just, that? It was a green screen. No. Like yes, he wasn't actually underwater. No, no, they because they messed with it. They did. Shot. That was yes, the, the that was like the best was part of the movie. Shot, so he was never actually underwater. They photoimposed mm. to make it look like he was underwater. Oh, he was I never see. actually underwater. Blue screen. The they blue screened they, it. Maybe sure. with the they pool. throw him in the they pool at the beginning of the shot. Screen. Yeah, yeah. But the, it's a steady cam, so there's no. They didn't. You mean still? It's like on tripod. Whatever. It's very easy to put a guy in a pool for like three minutes from Ryan. You just have a hose. You just have a but hose he didn't have a hose. Breathe. You could see he it. He didn't. You watched him go into the water, and then you saw his body just stay there. Yeah, he just like float. It cut, he like it it's done back. perfectly. It cuts twi- God, three times. I can't believe we didn't talk about this. It cuts three times, so it could have been him underwater, and then he just comes he, up, gets a breath. You and think then this goes guy uses visual effects? I see. That's the thing. Is like, was this the only? Me- It'd be crazy if he just went method uh, for I, this. Scene. I want it to be real. I want I want him to be a guy who can like. Oh, and Woody know, Allen's in this like, movie. What like the a David fuck? Blaine. Yeah, that's a that was a cool special. So was it cool? He also <laughs> yeah, has an Olympic was that torch. <laughs> What's up? He has an Olympic torch because he wanted to release the movie at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics, but the movie was delayed four years and <laughs> totally good. missed it. But yeah, how do you think they did? So no, so what are we landing on for just, how they did this? We're now pools. four years later. We're at a new Olympics. <laughs> That's true. Still got time. Not in LA anymore. So he literally runs across the country in this movie. He runs across the world. He's in like China for a split second. He's in like a little, a little hard to believe, honestly. Four years of post. I mean, that's really going to eat your budget. I feel like that there's like an animator Especially guys when can it get it. Four years to fall film in this trap. Isn't there like a Russian animator or something like that who spent like 20 years? Or hey, like hey, 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 don't bring up Russia Ooh, out of yeah, now. Is. Hey. Yeah. Name lots of animators who get lost in this frame animator. Richard Williams, who spent 30 years making. Um, I'm a piece of shit. The original Aladdin. I stand with Putin. <laughs> what? <laughs> it took him how long to do the Aladdin? He made the. Um, the Thief and the Cobbler, it took like 30 years. And Harvey Weinstein actually is the one who took that movie away from him and ruined it. No. <sighs> That's Guys, the worst thing Harvey ever the, did. He's in the water. I hate to break it to you. I know. So what does he do? Is he really? He's just holding Because they're, th- they're throwing like ladders and ropes and shit into the pool. He's just literally like, flying he's, there. There's probably a hose for him to drink out of. Like get air out of. Okay, Williams why gets would, his hose. Why would you drink out of a hose when you're underwater, you idiot? Or get, oh, you know what? I knew, could a, be? I knew a guy who could breathe bubbles from a jacuzzi and stay underwater for like hours. So I'm saying like a hose. Why do you know like, this guy? And why did well, he was my cousin? Why, he was oh, my okay. cousin. We'll start with that. Don't be uh, like you mean a child that did this. Don't be <laughs> or a man. Also, that's not good. That air is just like chlorine and like <laughs> he was able to stay underwater in a hot tub for like minutes at a time. Why? When would you ever? Was this as an adult or a child? He's a teenager. Okay. That's when we okay. were teens. No, teenagers we were, are we're teens. We were just teens having fun. What the only thing that can, I truly believe the him? only thing that can kill a teen is a um, school shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they're immortal. These teens are immortal, bro. These teens. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're fine. You're okay. oh, the only Either thing you got to worry about is school Drunk shooting. driving or school so, shootings. That's the only yeah. thing killing teens. I think he's holding his breath watching this. I think he's just one of the, I think he's David like, Blaine in. It's like one of his like, you know, Party David tricks. Blaine tricks. Like, hey, yeah. I can hold my breath a long time. Like, I'm so Remember, healthy. We need. It was really cool to see like the practical stuff in this movie, and, and like it makes you want to want their the movies to still be like where like magician minds go go to. You know, the so if you, you want have more a movies made magician by magicians. Mind, oh yeah. Well, they're made up like an assembly. Visual effects now is like an assembly line process. There's not a lot of um, yeah, u- it's like uniqueness to the visual effects. And like in this period in the of the '80s, a place like ILM would do visual effects one way, and then another studio would do it another way. Like yeah, you have to you find have, your uh, own method and shit. You don't have like a computer program, like and plugins and stuff. Like Rob That's Bottin, why Jackie Chan's the greatest. He didn't Rob Bottin, no who effects. did like yeah. the thing. He's the he is the special effect. <clears throat> True. Like he, like, yeah, Jackie Chan and his crew had their whole thing going. 
everybody was doing things differently, but now everything kind of feels the same. It's just kind of like, like a Mar- all the Marvel movies kind of look the same now. This guy should be in the Marvel u- cinematic universe. He should be in the Quicksilver. Avengers. And the Wizard of now, Speed and Time. He'd be DC for sure. The Flash. You just, you just see him run next in to the, the Flash in the, in the CW on um, season eleven of the CW awesome, Flash, dude. and you see the Wizard of Space and of Speed and Time. Not even Space and Time. Yeah, that's that, that's like really sticking. In also, my brain. he could fly. Yes. So why if the you fuck can is run he running fat, everywhere? If you can run fast enough, you can fly. That's the whole thing. No, he's he's goes from zero to flying. Yeah, that's true. Why are you running? If you could just what are like, you running for, bro? What are you running like, from? Maybe he's like, maybe he can, maybe he has to run for a really far before he can take off, like a plane. You know, flying is that hard that you. Did he actually? Was he running that fast, or was that effects? Because now that he hold he it, held his breath in the water, I thought I don't I don't know what to believe in. Yeah, dude. Well, they showed his um, brother using a motorcycle to film all that huh? running stuff. <clears throat> Remember. His brother had a motorcycle with a camera on it. It was like, yeah, and that's crazy that he could keep up with a motorcycle. So he was running that fast, huh? Yeah. So one thing this guy Very talked cool. about, he's like really obsessed with, he like, he's like, do you drink caffeine? I drink a lot of caffeine. I drink 200 milligrams of caffeine every day with coffee. And then he's like, but the thing describes is, describes coffee that way. If you're gonna it's have like coffee, if you're gonna have coffee, you need to have vitamin C. Otherwise, you can't um, properly like. Um, handle the caffeine and it has to be hot a lot of people drink cold coffee i don't do that so he's like definitely autistic definitely like why does yeah, it have so to be hot he's like 100 percent autistic and hot he well touch, your body he can't handle being touched you metabolize it differently when it's hot and it's just that's what makes you that's like the a key part of it being perking perking you up <laughs> <laughs> Feel like the looks that i just got for you guys <laughs> because it's like I, I didn't know if you were if you were shutting down or I'm like booting down. up i'm shutting down are you, are you okay up or are you, shutting no. down? you don't have to ask questions if you don't actually care <laughs> parking up. so like so i um, was so it's like co- with the, drinking um, my coffee coffee gold, was so like it's... so it's like it it's i guess it perks you up i guess i'm here I need to start drinking my coffee hot. I literally drink cold brew. So oh, this is why I'm it. asking. This is why Adam is like, anytime I'm he a- hears like one health anecdote from a psychopath, he's like, is, is that guy correct? Am I doing everything in my life wrong? Oh my God. He sent me that thing about the headaches. The, <laughs> in, the, in, the Instagram sponsored video about the headaches. Oh, pressure point stuff or something you said? No, it was a straight up like you That's put on this show. helmet. You put on this helmet that has a giant <laughs> disc around it and it goes into your door frame. And then you walk and like the tension pulls your neck or whatever. And then this guy's just like, What's up? It's like Joe Rogan type is like, What's up? Yeah. I've been doing this. I've had headaches my whole life. They definitely yeah. were real. And the doctors were like, We don't know what's up. These headaches are crazy. And then I bought this thing and I look like a fucking idiot. He even says that he's like, I look like an idiot, but my headaches are gone. And Adam sent me this. And he's like, this will get rid of headaches. This shit had 33 views on it. Yeah, it's like a thing that you it's it's all wrap around your head like and these, attach it to a like wall these, and like it vibrates really large, fast. These dick enlargement pills, if they worked, everybody would take them. Oh, if man, Jesus was real, it everybody Have would be Have you ever heard of aspirin religious. or Tylenol or ibuprofen? They get rid of headaches, Adam. No, no, you get this, but do you, you, get, but do you get a... Can you put an aspirin on your head and then... <laughs> Does it vibrate toes, really fast? Wear your toe shoes and stick a copper rod up your nose. And the important you gotta, thing to you remember about Adam is that you're... he wears toe shoes. I don't. And <laughs> toe toe sweaters. Separators on top. Uh, <laughs> underneath. I did for the t- uh, time being. Look, I have bad feet. I was just trying to. You know what toe separators are for, body. right? Painting what? toenails. Headache. No, 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 no. No, they're yoga. It's a yoga. Right, thing. right, right. I mean, you can look it up. Laugh all you want, but I'm the one with the great. He, who do you, you think? What do you think? I'll which send you the link. I've rebuilt my feet from the ground. Instagrams. <laughs> Let me see your toes, Adam. Let me see your stinky feet. Let me see feet. how separate. Whoa, his oh toes have. Oh my god. There's like inches in between. It looks like oh. no. It looks like one big toe. Very separate. <laughs> <His foot. laughs> 
<laughs> Why do you need them that separate, though? Look, my my big toe goes over my second toe. Also, so, screenshot that. Will so, screenshot his foot, and then let's sell that on. Let me ask you a question. Let's just do a little exploration, Doctor Bill. What did, you eat for, what did you eat for breakfast today? We're all answering. No, all, answering. I'd love to answer. It's funny Ryan, because you, you start though. Ryan's not answering. Adam, I'll answer, answer, but you go first. Adam's Ryan's not pretending to be healthy. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Well, I'm you know I'm woke in, up I'm at one thirty today I'm and a, drank a twisted tea. I'm a work in progress, but I'm trying. You know, I'm trying my I'm, you know. So what is the best me I can be? What'd you eat for breakfast? A bunch of motivational sp- sp- bull honky? Yeah. Toast I had separator. a nice little egg uh, egg and toast. And then I, eat, I also eat a bowl of cereal. Double up. Egg, toast, bowl what of cereal. Time? I mean, cereal. I'm sorry. I'm, you're, not gonna you get, get up? Uh, you're, you're not going to get a, a really funny answer out of this because I do. I'm actually what I, what, what you think I'm not. A I'm, shit eater? <laughs> Uh, no, I, I thought you just I thought you crawled in and out of porta potties and just ate all the turds in there like that guy in no, the X Files. No, I, I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. my mistake. I by thought my you ate turds. Okay, I thought you were done. Then what the, what's all that? What did you wrong, What did you think I was going to say that I ate for breakfast? Who? What else could you eat for breakfast besides eggs and cereal? Basically, I don't I eat like, breakfast. I thought you ate the feces. Of random individuals. Oh. Guy I thought that's girl. what you meant when you said you had a weird truckers. Boot. I thought you went to a greasy no. d- the local truck stop and <laughs> dove into the no. just try to suck the dick, <laughs> or but you trip and then go straight I sucking don't in the eat, nut. I don't eat that, but if I did, it'd be hot babes. The wizard of turds and buttholes. It's just sad. <laughs> the wizard of turds. <laughs> like really fast, it's like eating rich. a bunch with just like a big red on shit face. brown robe. Wearing like a <laughs> just running through piss and shit and like should have been the no, he puts on a um, <laughs> scuba outfit and dives into a porta potty and just lay and just like rests there. Well, yeah, like truckers around. go in and out of it. Oh, the cops are chasing him. He's insane just like, amount of shit getting dumped on my face. He's in running my, so my fast. Face and in my mouth. And the cops are just slipping on shit that's falling off of him. Oh, yeah. Like in speed, fast forward. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> like, you can't eat all those turds. You need a truck. You need a, a permit. You need this. Like, no, I can do it. I can eat any turd. Trust me. <laughs> instead of, instead of um, toys around his house, it's just... It's just turd slinking like inchworms across the floor. (laughs) Like dancing with a dollar bill. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. There's just a dollar bill in the dirt. And then uh, your your mom is also there sometimes. And uh, is just like, are you going to pick up all your affixes? Yeah. Special. Instead of all those. uh, Special effects, mom. Instead of all those film canisters, it's just coils of shit. <laughs> He's slowly moving frame Such by frame. Saving. Saving He's just playing with a years. pile of shit in his garage and filming it. <laughs> 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 yeah. He's like running out and filming for a second, running right, out. Yeah, running and back in. And just... <laughs> running back and moving the shit. <laughs> oh my God. The garage door's wide open. Oh, every, like, all your neighbors are like, what the all these girls are like, wow, he's so impressive. He's so cool. Yeah. Oh, these girls quit awesome. their job. <laughs> Can we help you move that shit? Yeah, totally. You're more focused on the shit than hooking up with these broads. Yeah. He just jumps into Passion. a hole of shit and just like holds his breath underwater <laughs> under the turds That's for like fun. minutes at a time, just floating there. <laughs> Well, two people are talking about Harvey Weinstein nothing. guy is just like a guy trying to get me to stop playing with <laughs> shit so much. Oh, that is Adam. <laughs> Adam, the That's wizard of That's shit like... and buttholes. <laughs> or what'd you say? Thirds and buttholes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a brown cloak. <laughs> when he puts the hood on it, his face somehow makes his face look like just an um, anus. 
It's funny because this all started because he texted us. He's like, I'm taking a weird shit right now. Oh, that's why you're saying that? that was you take weird joke. shits all the time, William. And Ryan, you definitely do. Absolutely mine are not. weird. Mine are mine aren't weird. Mine are sometimes are shocking. But it's sometimes <laughs> have you ever been you sit down to take a poop and then you just hear Aah! but it comes out of your butt. That's what mine are like. Shocking. Mine are like, like a guy falling down a, a big uh, hole. It's like a shock jock. <laughs> it's like a shock. It's a Howard it's really... Stern. It's like the bicycle in the <laughs> I call, Yeah, I call it the Stern. Hey, uh... No, I have honestly I haven't pooped in seven years. <clears throat> You're, were you pooping is like the scene in the movie where everybody is getting electrocuted by the bike, but that's just like <laughs> the poop coming out of your, your butt. <laughs> you <laughs> what? Which part? The line or the bike? The line is, is the poop. What's it's the Adam. bike? The Adam has the a bike, bike like The that. bike is your butt. <laughs> Adam writes, like in Adam's movie, he writes his bike around Florida. And then like his security device is he just takes a shit on it, and then like no one wants to touch just, it. No one wants to steal it. A turd on the seat, <laughs> and a the turd on each handlebar. <laughs> he has to poop like four, <laughs> five times. Two turds on each pedal. A turd on the seat. And a turd on each handlebar. <laughs> Mike actually did get stolen during, during the shooting of that movie. He, then he walks like, into uh, like a producer's weird. office covered in shit, like John Doe and Seven, just covered in like stains. He's like. I need the money for my movie. They're like, get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? What the fuck? There's shit everywhere. <laughs> you oh promised me. You promised me $2,000, dad. And I want my money. <laughs> I have to finish the movie. He's like, oh, God. Oh, God. Give me my film canister. I, no one's uh, going to steal, steal your bike. It's your... My bike... Uh... My bike did get stolen during that movie. And then the it's seat. It's not the, even a bite. You look closer. The tires are just turds shaped in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> the whole bike is just made out of turd. It's just one turd. <laughs> no, what? My bike got my bike got stolen. <laughs> my first bike got stolen. And... Wait a minute. Remember in the movie when he rides on a fucking like, briefcase at the end? He sells his coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Adam's just riding around town on a toilet, just, just a, like on, on one wheel. little turd, <laughs> <laughs> just getting chased by fake cops. Why does it have to Where be? Why are we not? Why? <laughs> this movie me. fucked me up, man. Because you're the filmmaker. Yeah, you're the turds and buttholes. Right. You're right. Yes, I'm the filmmaker. <laughs> Wait, no, I no, I have to say my bike got stolen. No one cares. So the cops arrest you. But it's but it's like why are you doing this? Why are you the why are you touching all these turds? Why are you going in the porta potties? And you're like, how? How are you pooping this much? You're like, when I touch them, I feel their energy. I can see what the person's going through. I'm a shit path. I yeah. uh... I'm a high functioning shit. <laughs> when I when I touch shit, I can see, I can feel and see the the muscle men they fu- they came out of. <laughs> it's every oh, dirty, nice. yeah, the muscle, the muscle man. Man, <laughs> Every dirty touches, it's just a muscle man crawling around on all fours, pooping. <laughs> Those flashbacks of that on every dirt, and it's just a different muscle man every time. So tell us about I don't your know bike. what the chances are. Yeah, so your bike got stolen? Sucks, bro. My bike got stolen. In the and then, what movie? And then, my, and then I used uh, my friend's bike who was helping me make it, Tito. And, uh, and then yeah, while we were shooting, stolen. so like that, 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 the, the seat on that bike got stolen. So then I had to film the scenes with <laughs> out a seat. <laughs> I was... <laughs> <laughs> avoid showing that there's no scene. so you put a, you put a freaking bike pull up your ass to film no, some of these no, scenes no. like somebody stole the bike seat guys so yeah on the director's <laughs> cut it's you it's you clearly just sprinting down the street on a bike just yeah. cruising and uh the voiceover yeah so fun fact somebody actually stole the bike seat on this one um which caused a lot of production problems because then i had to go through um all of my pants uh, figure out which ones I wore and then get an exact copy of those pants, cut a hole out of the butthole of each one of those. And then see in this scene, yeah, there's a pull up man. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's totally. Bike peg up. You got pegged by a bike. I got pegged. <laughs> uh, you some 
Yeah, did he's the, at, uh, he's doing everything back. He finished. Yeah. He, finished another, his sh- he finishes shooting of, the scene, and then like you guys everybody turn leaves. It around. The, the cast and the crew leave, and then like he he sneaks back on the set and just starts putting his mouth over the pole, like sucking. <laughs> I, this feels disrespectful. But he, but he misses fast. the pole, and he's just sucking the <laughs> so, tire like they're nuts. <laughs> Oh, okay. Nice work calling all those things back. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, but it's, it's just really a turd. Out. But it's just a turd. And then Hulk Hogan shows up, you know. It's, it's as nice that my baby's crying in the background while this is happening. <laughs> it's a nice touch. You go grab your baby. It's just a turd. Adam's whole okay. life is. <laughs> Look around my wife as a giant turd, <laughs> and then a house this whole time we... <laughs> made of completely of turd. <laughs> but everything looks so normal. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Your headset. It's like a Twilight Zone. Your it's like headphones the end of a in your zone. headset. Who's the turd? There's <laughs> one little log just <laughs> resting. <over. laughs> and nobody zone knows the episode. difference. <laughs> The black and white, say? just like imagine if you will, <laughs> a man whose entire life is turds. Imagine like, if you there's will. no irony, Every, there's no like, there's no symbolism, like, there's no metaphor. Ah, <laughs> no, you like you it. will. Imagine oh, if you oh, will, oh. a Earth like planet that is ex- everything is the exact same, except Adam, one person on the planet, everything is turds. Yeah. So I like it. I've realized I learned it at the beginning of the episode, but I'm okay with it. I just like it. Oh, anyways, this movie yep. was good. Yep. Yeah, we got a lot of good movies coming up this month. What's the theme? Is this one and one month. and done. Yeah, directors yeah. only made one crazy ambitious movie that never one worked. One pump chomp. All right. The one pump one chomp. chomp is my pitch. Damn, Adam! I unfortunately you made two movies. <laughs> That's you. right, motherfucker. Good for you. Nope. You couldn't make it this month. <sighs> I'm not a one. Also, they neither of, them were ambitious. neither of them were ambitious, no. so I guess it doesn't wouldn't fit the theme. Amen. I actually thought of your first movie watching this. <laughs> Why? Because at the end of Adam's movie, there's a chase scene where he rides around on Heelys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of like that. something this guy would do. Yeah. That was the first uh, adult Haley's joke, by the way. I feel like I don't get credit for that. <laughs> you want credit fun, for it? Fun, fun fact. Uh, I mean, I want credit actually, for something. <laughs> actually, somebody stole the wheels out of my Heelys um, just during like the, the take of that scene. So I yeah. actually had to uh, ride my Heelys years- uh, with a bike pole up my ass. He's like, uh, I made the first adult joke about Heelys. <laughs> <laughs> Only children had been making them. So uh, I was really children cutting new teens. turf. I think yeah. I think there was about three <laughs> teens going around making jokes, but plenty of children. I think it's I was like the ten, first adult. It's like 10 years after Heelys had been out. <laughs> it's the um, first adult. Whatever it's you say, first... you, what, Yeah, sure. Whatever you You're the say. one who said it. No, I'm, yeah, no, whatever you got to tell yourself. You're right. I didn't create a new type of joke <laughs> good. all right uh, oh, that's the end that's the end a new type of joke and you just see him putting his feet in the giant shoe-shaped turds <laughs> <laughs> that's not a new type of joke right that's not a, that's an old uh, old type he just puts turds under his feet slides rolls balls town. yeah <laughs> next time we're gonna to try that. it Next time we'll try it where turds? one of you guys is the guy that likes. Where's he getting the turds? <laughs> is he pooping the turds into his hand and then forming next, them into whatever he needs? Hey or guys, is the turds next in time, a bag? Guys, next time, he's let, like next the green time, lantern, let's... the brown <laughs> lantern. <laughs> I have a ring. It's like when Spider Man runs out of web shooters, or does he turd. produce in the web? You know. Yeah. Hey, next he's time like, let's make William. The Wolverine guy has claws of turds. You know, Spider Man has ropes. <laughs> Every time, instead of shink, it's... No, he's more like. I think he's like Ice Man. Yeah, I like surf on it. That'd be <laughs> like so shoot it in front of me and surf on it. That'd be sick. 
Holy Honestly, shit. Oh, guy. this is like, okay. He's, okay. We're getting Batman. into the boys' territory. We're getting he's into the boys' Batman. territory. Yeah, we should stop. They did these no, Batman. He's a whole lab. New animated boys. Did there's they a really? character. There's a there's a character in her superpower is oh, she could oh, she's oh, really, she has like us. A, I thought no, we were the, the boys. new animated bo- the boys the Amazon Prime. I thought you were calling us the boys. Superheroes. Yeah, we know. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> the only turds that come out of Adam are from his mouth. But uh, <laughs> that was on South Park. <laughs> but yeah, one of her power her powers is she can control shit, and it, everyone's like, oh god. All the villains are like, just fucking stop. I don't Where's, our, show? Where's our Amazon Prime show? This is bullshit, man. All right, later. Bro, I can't even control yeah. Amazon. I can't I even gotta, afford Amazon Prime. I got to fucking piss. I got to go. I got a weird pee coming on. Weird. What's <laughs> weird about it? Tastes weird. It's going to spray out in multiple directions. Tastes like turds. It's going to come out poop. <laughs> Something's Whoa. wrong with my pee. It tastes like turds. <laughs> <laughs> this, pee, this pee tastes like shit. Oh, this pee's it's fucking gross, dude. Coming out like this. a damn I can't spaghetti turd. I can't uh, drink I gotta chew it. Yeah. It, this is like yeah. got the consistency of a soup that hasn't been cooked. Right, gotta you don't go. even get me started on cold turds. That shit pisses me off, man. Despot, them doesn't, it doesn't turds. perk you up. When I wake up in the morning, I like a nice hot dog bun with a little turd in it, hot turd, you know, just eat that. That's how I get the day started. A little cereal. I got to try it. <laughs> I, I've been I've been doing it cold. A little cereal. Big yeah, you ass better take sweater. The advice you got to put a big ass sweater on after. You better take the advice of a fucking retard, Adam. Like, well, this guy. Who? Who is? The Wizard of Speed and Time. <laughs> He's like, I drink coffee hot and vitamin C. It's otherwise. Oh, shit. I thought you were saying that. <laughs> you got to pay attention. You got to listen. I completely thought that was just like something you were sharing. You don't remember the full conversation it, we had? Knowledge you were that, dropping on me. About hot, the hot coffee. All right. Yeah, no, I know. But that's when he said that. I thought we got to go. Recording stopped. <laughs>